1973, a man by the name of Steve Coley planted a seed in the video game industry that would evolve over the next 30 years to change the face of the industry forever. You see, Steve created a game called Maze War, and it's this game that is said to be the birth of the first-person shooter. While the game fell into obscurity, the concept that was created by Mr. Coley did not, and in a little under 20 years, the FPS genre would be actualized into some form that we can identify today with the game Wolfenstein 3D, and then the massively popular Doom a year later. In 1997, console gamers, such as myself, got their first taste of what the FPS genre was all about with GoldenEye on the Nintendo 64. And then in 2001, the genre leapt for with a massive hit, Halo. This was one of the first times that non-PC gamers like myself were able to play a match with more than four people on their console in a LAN party. Its sequel raised the bar even further and would allow us to be teabagged and cussed out by a 13-year-old in Cleveland, Ohio. Little did we know that in six short years, players would get what they had been desiring for a lifetime a well-made, realistic shooter set in present day, Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare. Since then, the industry has been inundated with FPS after FPS. The strength that the genre gained from these landmark titles seems to have become its greatest hubris, and with time, the genre will collapse in on itself from the sheer weight of its lack of innovation and creativity. As they say, it is always darkest before the dawn, and with any luck, perhaps I'll wake up tomorrow to a beautiful sunrise.